still facing an invasion in barely a year, less than a year. And I don't fully know what to do about it because it's probably going to be quite a lot stronger than us and there's not much we can do to increase our own uh, troop power. Now we could go the rep new route. We can't afford a few by now, but I don't think we will really get a number that is uh, impressive enough. Especially since we don't have a lot of uh, potential retinues anyway. And the best one we could get, we can't get because they would extend this uh, limit of retinues that we can have. So the Aztecs are getting uh, sort of destroyed over there. We also don't have enough children to really take care of new alliances because this guy is independent so we can't do anything about him our best chance is still this man here let us hope he survives until we face our struggles there and we get another choice in what type of leadership we would like to do so we could do cavalry a light foot or war elephant but i believe we're going to go for light foot so we have both heavy and light infantry leader in our traits which is all pretty damn good for what we are and what we do i still would like to go to war with this man but by now he's uh, quite out of our reach honestly terms of power so we're still looking to play another hundred years or so in this to unlock the achievement i can see why so few people have this achievement it's very arbitrary to get and not super fun to work toward so hmm. especially with all these invasions i wonder how it happens that they can do that. Okay, we do get an idea of... Well, no, that's... No, event spawn. There it is. If they prepare an invasion like that, then you get to see how many troops they'll bring. I remember. If they are an adventurer coming to invade you, then you don't actually get to see it beforehand. I was confused at some point about that now I no longer am confused so we could only get one of two retinues either the light skirmish one or the standard skirmish one the light skirmish one in terms of numbers is stronger so I think honestly we should just take that just bolster our troop size a little tiny bit because in the end they might make a difference so better not risk it Better not risk losing against this man. Alright, and there he goes to war with us. And I believe that we are not even going to be able to call his liege into this. Because they are his liege. So we are, well, I wouldn't say stuck, but we're very much relying on all these dukes around us to help us out. Uh, because, of course, our own levy troops... Where do we... Ah, right. These are our brave, brave troops over here. So they have ships. They're going to walk down their ships and they will try to attack and assault us right in our capital. So we do have a minor, tiny little minor chance that them attacking from a ship into our troops might be beneficial for us in, in terms of uh, the battle modifiers. But we'll see, we'll deal with whatever happens and whatever comes. Some of our allies are hopefully uh, joining us in this war. It looks like every single one is coming. Now we just need them to attach to us and we do have a decent chance of avoiding utter and complete and total defeat. They look to be taking the land route, which I think is quite interesting. Look at that. Our air has become a brilliant strategist, which is pretty great for us. 
Uh, because that means we can put him to work straight away as a commander for us. But I don't remember how well our commanders were actually done. I can't click this. Let me click this. Do we have any commanders that need replacing? Well, not necessarily. But he is better than most of these, so let us replace one that has only one skill, which doesn't apply all too much to our troops. And let's put in our lovely little heir here. He will lead our troops for us. We will still not lead anything. And he will actually... Oh, he's an organizer on top of everything. That's good. So we put him here and... This man we put here. And we just watch the enemy move toward us and hopefully all our allies and our own reinforcements will have joined us by the time they reach our lands and... Yes, we do some war games. Let the best warlord win. And the only strategy for these event chains here is just go with whatever uh, people suggest to you, so you don't upset them. Because it doesn't matter all that much. Let's hope some of these, or none of these... Oh, very good. We, we get some combat training. Let us really hope... Oh, we become wrathful as well. Plus three martial. Getting a good bunch of skills out of the uh, war focus, which might help boost our troops slightly. We might even actually want to lead them personally because it does give a morale bonus to them. Uh, I fear that 1,200 of our reinforcements from our allied troops might get caught up there. be a great big shame because we absolutely need everyone on point I also don't understand what they are doing I think they have their own war still to deal with let's see they arrive on the 21st of October the green army is the one we worry about 21st of October and these arrive on the 12th of October, so there will be battle. Which we can't do anything about. So we'll have to let them fall, basically. But me white want to raise a few mercenaries, because there's only these 400 coming, and these 1,000. These are not going to move. These will be shattered first and run away, and there's another 1,000 of his coming. So, let's see, how many troops do you have overall? 6,700. He did not hire anyone yet, so... We earn about five. We lose some because we have our own troops raised, of course. We might want to stand down our own. Well, there's only 64 more to be gotten, so it doesn't really matter. We can turn this down a little bit to half, but... You see, the difference isn't all that great. We will do it anyway, so we get around six. So let's see. Are there any mercenaries within our budget range? Not just what we can hire, but also what we can sustain. And uh, it looks like it might be possible that we can get at least a thousand or so. The peony band they're not great though the mixture of troops is really really not ideal you would want more heavy infantry for this like this this one is more attractive but let them arrive first oh it is good He's actually going to a smaller group and a bigger one is following, so 
we will have more or less enough troops here. Where's our son? He's on the flank now. Well, all right then. Our court chaplain is already dead again. Let's pick the next lad. Do we have a court physician still? Yes. He was the one who forfeited his office. So his reinforcements are being cut off a little bit. Might be able to do this without hiring mercenaries. Let's see. Yeah, he beat them there. Pretty good stuff. So they already lost the, lost the battle there. But we might want to move over here now. Oh yeah, let them come. That's good. So his reinforcements are getting attacked again. And he is attacking us across the river now. So this is now a question of hopefully not getting our commanders supplanted by worse commanders. 21, 19, 19. Okay, he doesn't have the greatest commanders it looks like. So two battles simultaneously against the invading hordes. Let's see how it works out. Okay, their center is breaking hard. Very hard indeed. What do you want? Oh, would you look at that? Our friend here asks us to be welcome to join the war against the invaders. So this is another... Ah, not too bad. Two, two and a half thousand troops, something like that. Okay, something weird has happened and I don't fully know how this happens, but... If you just scroll back a tiny little bit in this video, you will see that we were on the defending side having the defensive bonus, right? And now, all of a sudden, we are the attackers. And we have the river penalty. I... I... D I do not understand this one bit. I have no idea. I mean, it doesn't seem to help him much. But I have experienced this a few times in this game, and it's always a little bit aggravating. Because it's just so utterly unfair. <laughs> like there's nothing fair about it in the least. Oh, look, he has 3,300. Actually, you know what you can go and do for us, my friend? You can go and siege his stuff down while we hunt his army. How does that sound to you? Sound like a great idea? I think it sounds like a great idea. What do you wish to do? Okay, our cause is righteous, so even he, our friend over there, wishes to join us. And there was a weird sound right there. It was probably some sort of chat app I haven't used in a while. <laughs> oh, man. Right. What is this army doing? Oh, I've lost the support of all these uh, individual dukes because him joining meant that all the dukes from his realm kind of stood down or something like it. Right, okay, let him come again. Let him attack us. We do have allies moving around and about us, so... Who are we trying to kill? Him. What do we get if we win? Not a lot. Some prestige, gold and morale. Ah, that's way too expensive. No, no. I think these 1,000 or so should be moving toward us. Let's call in Fish Boy real quick. Yes, 
let us become close friends with this man here, our vassal. Oh, one of our count vassals. What do you want us to do? Donate to charity. I think, honestly, after this war, we will donate to charity. Right, and there are more reinforcements coming to us. Our plot to kill this guy who's invading us is revealed. Oh no, the shame, the humanity. So one of our flanks seemingly broke early or was never really there. But we have beaten him twice in the field now. So we could tell... Oh look, is he sending... Are you hiring troops now? Yeah, he's hiring troops now. Well, ain't that unfortunate. We will send this man to go siege the enemy. Because we have all the other allies collected now. So we can just face his ragged band of mercenaries as it comes toward us. We even get the army of Thardon. We would have a river crossing, but... Okay, we're wounded because we have trained so much. Unfavorable position for us, but... Well, they're mercenaries. Mercenaries aren't all that strong as it is, as it is so... Okay, we've lost one of our counselors to death. Ooh, luckily, his heir is a very good counselor himself. Now, sadly, with those uh, hired troops, he's burning the money he owes me for losing this. I don't fully know what our friend there is doing. Come on now, go. Move those troops. I'll take care of the rest. No need to worry your pretty little head. Just go siege. Get some gold. Our courtier any good at anything? Uh, let's make a move, why not? wounded but we didn't get scarred <laughs> I might have been too harsh on the courtiers at Via Vada, but Chancellor Duke Stain managed to calm them down and even like me more just by giving him half a day off we lose some gold for it but we will definitely reward him everybody liked it there we go, 100% on both wars we were definitely totally 100% involved in. Got a bit of money out of it. Let's bring home our own troops to stand them back down. Thank every ally for joining us in this. I really, really appreciate it. It won't go unnoticed as I throw money at my own holdings again. And what's our, we are, we are war focused, which is just fine. Our son, has he learned anything from those battles he fought? Doesn't look like it. Also won this other war. We will drink in our friend's honor and stand down these troops in a faraway foreign land. Where they did their absolute best to win. Now, these are the Mongols somehow, but it looks like they're entirely broken apart. It's very interesting. I think these are the Mongols, but they don't hold the things that they held before. Like they had all this. 
and he has the symbol of a duck with a hat as a religion. Okay. Good stuff. So it pains me to say so, but this guy is who we will need to attack. Because we wish to get this duchy down here. Who will join us? Alright, we need to stand on our troops first. Yes, let's become close friends with some Manu. We'll just have to see who will be willing to join us. Let's uh, increase our retinue reinforcement spending as well. New position open. Our designated regent died. It's a shame. We have a whole bunch of people who really, 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 really do not like us. Make our son our designated region. I think we need to check our court, our council. Looks like there's a bunch of heavy, heavy hitters that need a job. Our son will be our cupbearer as befits his station. Spy master. Come on now, by rank. So... This guy. All good? All happy? Enjoying your life? Go research. Alright, troops are back home. He has 4,300 troops. Right now, and we have 3,100. How much gold do you have? Less than us. Who will join us in this? Oh. Appears we have lost our claim. Now we have the claim. But why can't I fight you for it? That is odd. Maybe because he holds it himself and doesn't give it to anyone? Why can't I fight over this then? Still have the claim, don't I? Very confounding. Very odd. Very strange. Let's bring our retinues home. They can sit and defend the capital. Why can't I fight you over this? That is sad. I mean, I could go and establish a tributary straight, but... By then he'll have grown to be stronger than us again. Uh, down there. Okay, let's see what we can do with our vassal troops around here. How many is that? 1,200. Let's bring them here. And we will bring these. And, and these. And that should be enough, shouldn't it? Minus, yeah, yeah, that, that's going to be enough. Let's just take care of this revolt. I'm quite happy that all these rulers joined in the invasion defense. Almost feels like I shouldn't attack them. He likes us really well because we joined his war. Oh, thank you. I don't want to owe you a favor for some money. I'd really rather not. I think we're going a little bit overboard here. Well, that's just fine. He will lead. He will flank. 
He will flank and off you go. And the rest is just reinforcements led by this guy. Led by this guy, led by this guy. I know he's a center leader, but I need that organizer to push these troops to peak movement efficiency. That's what I need them to do. So they arrive quickly. Help with this revolt there. Still really love this icon. Just a lovely family symbol. Little scaly, fishy boy on a field of green. Would like to enforce our demands. Thank you very much for playing the game there. So what could we declare war on you for? Let's see. This type of tributary cannot be called into war. That is true. Uh, okay. So he can call us into defensive wars. But we can't call him in. We'll just have to stay on the good side of this thing. And somehow advance our own goals. I really don't like that I can't push for this duchy. It, it clearly belongs to our stuff. Clearly. I mean, look at this layout of everything. That's That's clearly meant for us. Oh, I mean... I do have this cousin here, but I can't press her claim, because even if I did, she would get the duchy, but she wouldn't become our subject, because I can't give her a land of title, because she's a woman. Hmm. 